Hello, boys, girls, and Lunchables. Today I am bringing you a brand spanking new factual documentary, and this one is about the piranha plant. The piranha plant is a plant, as the species name would suggest, yet it has many animal-like behaviors such as eating humans, walking, spitting, and, um, flying? I suppose that leads well enough into the anatomy. Your standard piranha plant features a bulbous red head with white spots and white lips. It has a large mouth filled with sharp teeth for devouring prey, and a long stem for reaching said prey. It has a couple leaves on its stem for absorbing sunlight because it is still a plant. And now, why don't we take a look at some of the piranha plant subspecies, starting with the Venus fire trap. This thing looks the same as the normal one, but it spits fire. Big piranha plant. Do I really have to explain? Patui. This thing is a freak of nature. Muncher. The little boy. Bone piranha plant. Actually, how? Putrid piranha. This piranha will inject venom into its prey with its teeth. Frost piranha. The cold boy. There are so many more subspecies, but for the sake of time, I won't list any more. And yes, it is for the sake of time, so before you tick to the comments section saying I forgot some subspecies, just remember that I don't want to stuff this video with filler. Now let's take a look at a notable member of this species, Petey Piranha. Petey is the most well-known piranha plant, and he has appeared in many games, starting with Super Mario Sunshine. In that game, he fought and lost to Mario two times. Since then, he has done lots of stuff like racing, baseball, soccer slash football, and, um, evolving to have arm-like leaves and little stub feet. Seriously, how does he do that? The reason he is important is because he serves as a representative and role model of the piranha plant species, and for that reason, I think it's appropriate to conduct an interview with him. Thank you for having me here on this documentary. Um, sure? Now, what do you feel is your most important contribution to the piranha plant species? I would say, perhaps the fact that I'm a strong leader, a tough fighter, and just an overall admirable guy. Okay, yeah, let's go with that. Now, how do you feel about your species as a whole? I have a lot of pride for my species. I mean, we're adorable, strong, and very productive members of society. Alright, and one final question that will lose relevance to a wider audience at some point. What? WILL YOU BE IN SMASH?! Um...